In the accompanying video, Program Files for Functions, we look at how we can write our own function files. For example, I've created here a function myf, which is simply a polynomial function of x. Notice that because I've used element-wise multiplication here, I can give a vector for the input and I'll get a vector of outputs back. Let's test it for a couple of values. We can calculate my f of a single value, or we can calculate my f of a vector of values. And using that method, we can then produce a plot. Here's the x values for the plot. and the y-values. Suppose now that we wish to integrate the function. Because it's a polynomial, we could do it by hand. But if f was a complicated function, then we might need to use numerical integration. We could write our own function to perform numerical integration, but MATLAB does have an inbuilt function that can do it for us. The function's called integral. If we look up this function in the help guide, then we can find its usage pattern. To integrate my f between minus 3 and 3, we want to type integral my f minus 3, 3. However, it fails. The problem here is that a function name cannot be passed as an input argument. Essentially, input arguments are treated as variables, and my f is not a variable. The problem is similar to what we would see if we simply type myf without any inputs. Replacing myf with myf of x won't work either, because the function myf only works with numeric inputs. What we need to do is set up a variable that points to the function myf. We can do this by using the at character. Typing at myf creates a variable called a function handle that can be passed as an input argument to a function. We can set up the variable explicitly. The variable inherits its usage pattern from the function, so if we type f of 2, we'll get the same result as when we used myf. Now we can proceed with the integral, replacing the failed myf with fr, our function handle, and we get the result. Function handles can also be used to create anonymous functions. That is, we can set up a variable that behaves like a function without naming the function explicitly. We do this by defining a usage pattern. To replicate the behaviour of myf using a variable g, we can type g equals at x and then copy the expression from myf. The list of variables appears in brackets here, and the calculation appears afterwards. Let's verify that we get the same behaviour using g as we did with f var. g of 2 again gives 20, and g of 1, 2 gives the results we had before. We can also use g to perform a plot. Here's an example of how we can pass an anonymous function as an input argument without needing to set up a function handle explicitly. Anonymous functions, just like function files, are allowed to have more than one input. For example, let's create a function called pl, which is going to take two inputs, x and y, and simply add them together.
And that's pretty much all that you need to know about function handles for now. They can be passed as input arguments to other functions, and that they're created by defining a usage pattern, or by inheriting their usage pattern from other functions.